Well, Green Bay, not the only community dealing with this type of scare. Police and Nina investigating nails found inside candy there. Our Matt Jarko joins us live at 5 now with the latest. Matt. Regina, we spoke with police today who say there have been no more reports of tainted candy found in Nina after a mother says they discovered nails in three different Kit Kat bars on Halloween night. Thankfully, her daughter was not injured. Today, we also spoke with the owner of an Appleton candy store. She says it's really disappointing to see this happening and hopes it doesn't tarnish the longtime tradition of trick-or-treating, a night that should be a harmless and fun time for kids everywhere. That sadly has not been the case for several communities this year. All ages can dress up, go out and be as goofy as you want on that day. Why would you bring harm to you know, innocent people like that. The Kit Kats with the nails inside have been sent to the state crime lab for testing, and this is the second year in a row nails have been found in candy in Nina, but police say this year the tainted candy came from a different area of the city. Kelly says with no arrest last year or this year, she's hoping the suspects in both cases are caught soon, so parents hopefully won't have second thoughts about sending their kids trick-or-treating. Matt Jarko, NBC 26.